Hey guys, um, so today we're going to be going over Ape Man. And what this is, is a tool we use to calculate the subatomic particles in an element. Um, rem remember, our subatomic particles are protons, electrons, and neutrons, and they make up the contents of an atom. Okay, so you need to have your periodic table handy. I'm going to have four examples for you. So first, let's go over what Ape Man stands for. The A in Ape Man stands for atomic number, which if you look at your periodic table, is that top number. Your atomic number is going to be equal to your protons and your electrons of a stable element. So when we look at this example on my periodic table of sodium, the atomic number is 11. That means that sodium has 11 protons and 11 electrons. Okay, so the second part is the MAN. And what your M stands for is your mass number. Now, when you look at your periodic table, it might say atomic weight or atomic number. For your mass number, we just round this up. So for sodium, the atomic mass is 22.9. We would round that to 23. And then the A still stands for atomic number. Again, is this top and the N stands for your neutrons. And so what you do is you subtract. You take your mass number and your atomic number and you subtract them to find out the number of neutrons. Now, why do you think that that is? Think about what makes up the mass of an atom, the majority of the mass of an atom. That's going to be your protons and your neutrons. So your atomic number is equal to the number of protons. So it makes sense to subtract your mass number and your atomic number to get the number of neutrons. You are essentially subtracting your mass number minus the number of protons gives you the number of neutrons. All right, so let's do an example. Our first example is gonna be fluorine. It has um, an atomic number of nine an atomic mass of 18.9. So let's do ape man. Remember, the A stands for atomic number. My atomic number was nine. That means fluorine has nine protons and nine electrons. Your A, P, and E are equal to each other. Okay? So for your mass number, you need to round this. It says 18.99. I'm going to round that up to 19. So my mass number is 19. My atomic number, again, was 9. 19 minus 9 is 10. So I have 10 neutrons. Okay? So let me review that real quick. Fluorine has an atomic number of nine. That means it has nine protons and nine electrons. It has a mass number of 19. We rounded this bottom number up. And then again, the atomic number is nine. You subtract these to find the amount of neutrons, which is 10. I'm gonna do three more examples for you. The next example is calcium. My atomic number is 20. So that means I have 20 protons and 20 electrons in this stable element of calcium. My mass number is going to be 40. No rounding necessary this time. And then again, my atomic number is 20. So 40 minus 20, so 40 minus 20 gives you a total of 20 neutrons. So calcium has 20 protons, 20 electrons, and 20 neutrons. Next example is aluminum. And aluminum has an atomic number of 13. Therefore, this stable element has 13 protons and 13 electrons. 
Its atomic weight is 26.98, so I need to round to 27, and then an atomic number of 13. 27 minus 13 is 14. So you have 13 protons, 13 electrons, and 14 neutrons. Our last example is oxygen. Oxygen has an atomic number of eight, therefore it has eight protons and eight electrons. Its mass number will be rounded to 16 AMU. 16 minus the atomic number of eight gives us eight neutrons. Um, with my examples, the reason I chose them is because I wanted you to see that sometimes your amount of protons, electrons, and neutrons will be the same like it is in calcium and in oxygen. Calcium has 20 protons, 20 electrons, and 20 neutrons. Oxygen has 8 protons, 8 electrons, and 8 neutrons. But as you can see with fluorine and aluminum, that is not always the case. Fluorine has nine protons, nine electrons, and 10 neutrons. And aluminum has 13 protons, 13 electrons, but 14 neutrons. So be sure to practice ape man, um, or write ape man out whenever you're calculating subatomic particles so that you can guess correctly.